Looks like we have another big update to the Sasha Banks vs. Bailey feud. Last week, we touched on this story and on how WrestleMania was the big starting point for the breakup between Bailey and Sasha Banks. Although we didn't get any actual words exchanged between Sasha and Bailey at WrestleMania, we got a lot of subtle hints and teasers about the inevitable feud. Little things, such as Sasha holding the title in her hand and staring at it for an extended amount of time, Sasha giving Bailey a fake smile, and Bailey just looking completely freaked out by Sasha Banks. So after WrestleMania, it was looking like Sasha would be the ruthless heel during the breakup. But after their segment together on SmackDown, the overall opinion completely changed on that. It looks like Bailey is going to be the leading force behind why the pair is breaking up. Bailey has become so obsessed with her title reign and has put it before her friendship with Sasha Banks. If you go back and pay close attention to Sasha's face while Bailey was speaking on SmackDown, you'll notice that Sasha was occasionally giving Bailey some dirty looks due to some of the things that Bailey was saying. Telling by her facial expressions, it looks like Sasha has something to say and disagrees with Bailey on certain things she was talking about, but Sasha remained quiet. Then the over the top and obvious first step in their breakup story was when Bailey volunteered Sasha to face Tamina. This is when Sasha got really heated with Bailey. Sasha instantly looks at Bailey and nods her head as if to say, What are you doing? Sasha was not okay with Bailey, just throwing her into a match without even talking to her about it. It was a horrible call by Bailey. She didn't even talk it over with Sasha or give her a heads up at all. Bailey just put Sasha into a match with Tamina out of nowhere. It also looks like Tamina is being booked as a strong contender. For the title as well. Sure, Tamina was off television for a long time before WrestleMania, but it looks like she can be a serious threat going forward. Tamina was heavily protected at WrestleMania as well. They needed the finishers from the four other competitors just to eliminate Tamina. So even though Tamina did lose that WrestleMania match, she did come out the match looking pretty strong. It literally took four women to take her out of the match. So, with that being said, maybe Tamina is going to be a serious force from this point on, and her first victim is Sasha Banks. Just to put the story between Sasha and Bailey forward, something drastic has to happen during the Sasha Banks vs. Tamina match. Maybe Sasha gets hurt, or even loses against Tamina, and that's going to affect both of our characters. Bailey would be furious with Sasha if she loses, because... Now Bailey has to put her title on the line against Tamina. But on the flip side, Sasha Banks will also be heated with Bailey for putting her into this mess to begin with. So that's probably the best outcome. Have Sasha lose against Tamina because that'll give Sasha and Bailey great reasons to be angry with each other and raise that tension. And it'll also introduce Tamina as the new number one contender. Bailey has been bragging that there's no one left and that she has defeated everyone, but Tamina definitely is a new face that Bailey has never defended the title against, so it sets up a fresh matchup for her. Since Bailey put Sasha in the match unwillingly against Tamina, maybe Sasha isn't so quick to help Bailey retain her title against Tamina. Maybe Sasha is secretly rooting for Tamina to rough Bailey up a bit. Either way, it looks like the tension between Sasha Banks and Bailey is about to go through the roof in the next few weeks. A few months ago, we talked about how hard it'll be to determine who stays heel and who turns babyface between Sasha Banks and Bayley. But I think we just got an answer to that question on SmackDown. It seems that Bayley will be remaining the heel and it'll be Sasha Banks that turns face. You can see how Bayley is just quick to throw Sasha into the front lines in order to protect her title reign basically using Sasha as a shield so that other superstars can't get close to the title. It really seems that Bailey is really taking advantage of their friendship with each other in order to protect her reign at all costs. And it's been working so far. One of the reasons why Bailey is still champion is because she has Sasha Banks by her side. It's hard to challenge and defeat Bailey one-on-one -on -one for the title because it's basically two-on-one every single time with Sasha getting involved. You have to fight off both Sasha and Bailey to even get close to the SmackDown Women's title. So Bailey has been having the time of her life as champion because it's impossible for her to lose. 
But like we're seeing right now, it looks like the Sasha Banks character is finally starting to realize this and may decide to just go after the title herself. So the story is definitely unfolding right in front of us and the breakup is on the way. Once again, it looks like Bailey will be staying heel and Sasha will turn babyface, which is complete role reversal of their 2015 feud. Sasha was the overconfident heel champion in that feud and Bailey was the underdog. However, even though they switch roles of babyface and heel, it still looks like Bailey will be the underdog when she goes one on one with Sasha Banks later on this year. Bailey is on a long historic reign, but Sasha is a big reason why Bailey is still champion. So if you take Sasha away from Bailey, it won't be surprising at all if she instantly loses the title to Sasha. It makes Sasha look incredible and really proves that she was the only reason why Bailey still had that title. Hopefully, WWE stretches out this breakup story so that we can have the one on one matchup at SummerSlam, where we could have a live crowd back for that event, but it's still a slim chance. So we'll have to see what WWE does with this story. But it will be an interesting few weeks to see how this breakup continues to happen. So, for today's bonus story, a major update was announced concerning WWE's budget cuts. A lot of WWE employees and talent could be out of a job soon due to everything that's going on. So, let's take a more detailed look at that story. Last time I was released from WWE, I went through a recession. Um, I met my husband. I had a foreclosure on my house. But then I also got to work for all these different wrestling companies. I married the love of my life. And I believe that if you're hopeful, 
And if you see the best in people, and if you never stop dreaming, no matter what happens, there's a light. There's a light at the end of that tunnel. The last time I was released from WWE taught me so many things. And this run in WWE taught me a lot more things. I mean, I'm a mother now. And I was a WWE superstar. And I let them see that. They were able to enjoy that with me. I think my daughter is the biggest WWE fan in the world. I think Rey Mysterio might be her favorite wrestler. Life never goes as planned, and that's okay. I can't wait till this is all over so that we can entertain whoever it is we end up entertaining in the future. We'll keep you updated. We'll keep daily dancing. We'll keep having Fred talks. And who knows what the future might hold. Thank you to everyone. Peace, friends. So, as you might have heard, I am no longer with WWE. Uh, so I want to you know, just take this time to say thank you for everybody who reached out to me so far. Uh, there's a lot of you. Thanks for being fans. Thanks for whether you cheered for me, booed for me, danced with me, thought I was silly. Uh, just thank you for making it all worthwhile. Uh, thank WWE and um, everybody involved, everybody in the back. The locker room's amazing stories for days and memories. It's going to last forever and hopefully this ain't the last time you see me. Um, just stay safe, take care of yourself, take care of your loved ones, um, and just take this thing seriously. Uh, I didn't know going to Raw, you know, this last time would be the last time for a while. Uh, I would let it soak in just a little bit more, but um, uh, until next time, you know, this is your boy, no way, Jose! <laughs> But thank y'all for everything. Peace. I'm very fortunate that WWE is still allowing me to compete in the NXT Interim Cruiserweight uh, title tournament. But it's it's very likely that those will be the last matches that I ever have. There's a lot of people I'm not going to get a chance to say goodbye to. That I really love. I really cared about. make me a better person and again I'm, I'm very fortunate that I still get that other people won't get that but um, these are the last three matches I have I just want everybody watching at home to know that you'll have my all you'll have everything it's not about a title anymore it's about it's about my life. It's about feeding my family, paying my bills. So if I don't make an impression, if I don't win, that's it for me. So I, could, I just want everybody to know that uh, you're all going to get everything I have. So just a crazy number to look at. 40% of WWE employees will be let go for the time being. But WWE does hope to bring some of them back. And this is just a temporary thing. But what are your thoughts on Sasha and Bailey's breakup story so far? We'll continue to update the story as we get more and more segments about their breakup. Leave your comments, don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on, and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.